the red kits underway. 20 is Ian Grant. Um, 88 is Jerry Fincham. And then with a credit lap will be 30, which is Tim Mile. Uh, 25 um, seconds after those will be number 12, which is the car um, of Ben Mile. And 29, John Village. Five seconds after that, number 42, which will be um, Tim Sage. And then 20 seconds later, with a credit lap for both, will be number eight, Peter Marsh, and 85, John Moss. 20 seconds later, again with credit laps, will be six for Richard Verhayden and 69 um, for Mike Pickup. Ten further seconds back, again with a credit lap, will be 22, Charlie Plain Jones. And then five seconds later will be 66, these cars all with credit laps, 66, Nick Hayward, Cook, 11, James Miles, and one, which is Greg and Fruston. So about half of those cars have got underway, Marcus Pye, uh, but it all will become more clear as the race goes on. Yeah, it's, it's interesting because often these handicaps favour the very slowest cars. Then I've got to do one uh, fewer lap, so five laps out of the six. Um, I noticed that the, um, the John Village car is, is still on two carburetors, <laughs> so they've relented uh, with that one. There's still a whole bunch of sevens here to go, and uh, this looks quite exciting because there's a, there's a block of them here towards the back of the field. There's the next pair going, 8 and 85 to go away. Yeah, so we've still got... Another five cars, six cars to go. And they're going to go in three what a, great, what a great picture that is, with the low cowley in the middle of Charlie Plain Jones. It, it's, there it goes. it's the perfect race for this type of formula, yes. isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. It gives everybody a chance. Uh, we had this at, Cad at Cadwell. It was uh, Richard Verhayden who won at Cadwell from Simon Gallon and Jörg Schneider. Yeah, Jörg Schneider, one of our Swiss uh, visitors, came to Mallory Park as well. Now everybody's away now. So this is, I say, a six-lap race rather than a timed race. And how many of them only have to do five yeah. laps? Basically, all the Austin sevens, really, isn't it? <laughs> Apart from James Miles in the supercharged car. Um, yeah. Sorry, not... Um, and um, Tim, Tim, Tim Roebuck. Tim Roebuck. Oh, uh -oh. Someone recovering from a spin there. That's is 69, that's pickup. Yeah, Mike pickup, pick I think, up for this time. race. Yeah. yeah. So his first sort of racing lap hasn't gone... Because if you have a spin and handicap race, that almost puts you out of contention. So he will get back up to speed now. But yeah, the, basically the first five laps is everybody settles in, don't they? And then the sixth lap, it all is goes... Everyone, is everyone scrabbling around <laughs> and wondering what's happening? Well, even sometimes the winners don't realise they've won, do no, they, at the end of no, these no. races? So the first car to come through is 81, which is Samuel Bayliss, Bayliss, who will have to do six laps. And Ben Bolt is second. Yeah, they started together, so Bayliss has got the yeah. better of Bolt. 4.6 seconds apart, those two, 81 and 13. But obviously they're going to drop back when the likes of uh, Tom Emden, who started first with a credit lap, comes through. He'll yeah. be our leader for a while, but he is a, a little bit slower than the rest. Here he comes. At number nine across the line is our race leader, Tom Emden. He's now done two laps. They've only yeah. seen him do one, but he's not done two, really. That's right. Uh, so there he is, number nine, the second car in your shot. There's our race leader, but uh, he will be the slowest car. This is the Austin 7 Sportsman. Uh, Tom is a 40-year-old IT analyst from Hampshire who's done hill climbing and sprinting in the past. This is a 1938 Austin 7 Super Accessory Sportsman, which has a Austin side valve 747cc engine. Uh, this car is prepared with the help of Al Alf Railing Cork, a long-time racer. This car originally was built in Cornwall in the 1950s, stored in a barn for 35 years, and uh, is now back out racing, Marcus. Well, uh, Tim Miles got his credit lap there, so he's 30.6 seconds behind Emden, so he's done his net second lap. And in the first race, Tim Marl was 15 seconds quicker than Tom Emden on best lap, so that would suggest he should be able to catch up in the remaining four. Yeah, Ben Mile, meanwhile, is uh, still about 12 but seconds behind John Village, and they started together. Mm. So something obviously happened to Mile on that uh, first lap, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Lots of understeer for <laughs> Tom Hemden. And there's John Village going past him. So that's Village onto the lead lap, uh, <laughs> basically. So he has, what, three and a half laps to catch 
the uh, that car, but he in the earlier race, it was the best part of a minute quicker. So he probably will get there. And Fincham didn't, uh, he practiced out of session, didn't mm. he, in the 88 car for the previous race? Yeah, he did finish sixth in the race. That, um, yeah. Gary Fincham did pretty well. So where's he? Uh, he's 13th behind Ian Grant. Yeah, it's a little, uh, yeah. a little fiddle around. But Hayden, who uh, won that previous one of these handicaps, it's a new idea to have the second race as a handicap. It's sort of one of the odd meeting. It, we've had yeah. we had it here last year. It's sort of on, on tracks that suit, kind of thing. Snatched them because it's a long lap. It works better, I think. Because um, you did it at Brands Hatch, one you need yeah. to get out of the way pretty sharpish as the the people that flag them off. Um, and equally means you can't have that many sort of batches going off. Where here we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten batches leaving out of 20 cars. Yeah, there's Sam Bayliss, who's got Ben Bolt. Now catching him back up. Catching him <laughs> up. And uh, 81 and 13 are 11th and 12th. Yeah, so ten cars had a credit lap there for, didn't they? So basically half the grid. There goes Fincham through, Jerry Fincham in 88, who's a 71-year-old uh, from Suffolk, so fairly local driver. He's been competing in Magnificent Sevens in the past in Catrum, so this is uh, quite a bit different. He's driving a 1974 DNC Mark V, which isn't a car that raced in period, but has been built up um, to a similar specification. See uh, one of the single-seater Austin Sevens there, which is 30 which is Tim Mile, who is in second place in the Austin 7 uh, Pigsty Mark 13. P Pigsty, yeah. So Pigsty Racing, built a lot of these cars. He's got a GoPro on the back, just like they would have had in period. Yeah. <laughs> so Tim is in second. He was half a minute behind Tom Emden on the first lap. Tom Emden has gone four seconds quicker than he did in race one, which is always a good way to fool the handicapper. Uh, Tim Mile, though, up across the line in second place. He does a 2.09, which is two seconds quicker than he did in the earlier race. And now he's 17 seconds behind Tom Emden. He's 13 seconds quicker, so he's going to catch him. Yeah, but he'll catch him in a couple of laps. So it is nine that leads uh, Tom Emden. Second is 30, Tim Mile. In third position, up to the line now... Is number eight, which is Peter Marsh. Now, Peter Marsh is 47 seconds behind the leader, but over 20 seconds quicker. He's only 10 seconds quicker than Tim Mile, though. There's three laps to go, and he's 30 seconds behind. So it's got his height, isn't it? Yeah. At this, this rate, anyway. Absolutely. John Moss in 85 is in fourth. Uh, he's lapping over three minutes, so he's effectively not going to be featuring. Verhaden, 2.54. Uh, which is quite impressive. Uh, 256, in fact, Thruston 254. Uh, and he is five seconds behind Verhaden, so he's catching Verhaden. Verhaden's catching those ahead of him. James Miles at 255, so he's in the, um, in the ballpark with those ahead of him. It's, they'll, they'll all catch up, I think. And then pick up a 303, Hayward Cook. Haywood Cook, a 2.58. Charlie Plain Jones. The, the two that went off first, Marcus, Ben Bolt and Sam Bayliss, yeah. are side by side again as they go up across the it's line. Amazing, isn't it? But they're both being caught quickly by Ian Grant. Uh, ten seconds quicker on that last lap. Yeah, Bolt's ahead of Bayliss now, isn't he? But, uh, and Grant, as you say, is catching them. So this will be quite nicely handicapped, I think. Because Emden or whoever or Mile will um, will lead over the mm. line next time. Oh, oh, a spin for Ian Grant. Uh, he was looking good because he was quite a bit quicker than those ahead. Yeah, was a little little smattering of, of raindrops on the window. It might have uh, added to uh, a bit of oil down there already. Yeah, well again, it was at the Wilson hairpin, like the first spinner. So that and was John Village is now caught uh, Ian Grant. You see in the background. Meanwhile, some of the sevens are. Let me on to the back straight here. That's uh, Greg and Thrust, and I see. This is the battle between Bayliss and Bolt, which has changed order yet again. Yeah, so the battle for... Well, it's currently 11th, but it'll be higher up later. Oh, and another spinner. This time the Agostini hairpin. Yep. That is 99. So that is 
David Lewis. Lewis. David Lewis and the Jeffrey. Who made some road cars as well, Jeffrey, sort of rather similar to sort of sevens. I think the that 81 car, Sam Bayliss, that's the car that Martin Depper won some races in in the past in this oh series. Nice. So Thomas Emden's gone across the line as the leader. He's gone a little quicker, still in the 322s. But Tim Miles pretty much with him now in the nines. So they're both lapping on a similar pace to what they did on the previous lap. So 4.8 seconds between nine Thomas Emden and 30 Tim Mile. They're on their penultimate lap now. And catching them will be... Peter Marsh, I think. So he caught by 10 seconds on the last lap and caught 10 again, and he's 20 yeah. behind Tim Mile. So that's only two in contention. And he's trying to work out the sort of much quicker uh, later cars, how, how much quicker they're yeah. going and whether they're going to catch. Supercharged car going through there, I heard. I think that's Greg and Fruston. That's Fruston, isn't it? Yeah, Fruston's going, what, six seconds quicker than Marsh. Is 16 behind, so it's going to be difficult for him to catch, I think. But for the lead of the race, we're going to get that lead change, I think, coming up in a moment. Tim Mile, he's drawing up alongside, and he'll take the lead, and he acknowledges that. So he passes Thomas Emden. So the single-seater car. Here's the, here's, the, uh, here's the quick boys. It's four together across the line up towards Richie's. So that'll be worth watching. So John Village... It's going to be the best of the Class C cars pretty quickly. So he's in the 33s. So he's looking pretty close to where he was before. So he's you know, sort of it's such a big... So he's got two laps to go. He started the lap a minute and ten behind mile, and he's lapping, what, 36 seconds quicker. Which is basically a minute and 12. Yeah, so that is, two laps. it's going to be tight, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tim Sage is in the 32. He's the quickest uh, car, but he's in last place at the moment. Yep. Won't stay there. A uh, battle heading down towards Agostini here. Quite a few of the Austin Sevens have got themselves together. Charlie Plain Jones there, ahead of uh, that's Nick Hayward Cook behind him, isn't it? In the red mono. And then 69 uh, is Mike Pickup. I've had the spin on the opening lap. It's a really short wheelbase, um, Charlie Plain Jones. He was manoeuvring it in the uh, assembly area this morning by leaning out and just <laughs> putting his hands down the, the rear wheels. Haywood Cook got back through. So Plain Jones had passed him, but Haywood yeah. Cook back through at Hamilton. Jörg Schneider, one of our Swiss visitors, who's not here this weekend, but was at Cadwell, um, he was measuring up uh, one of these monoposses. He's built one yeah. uh, in Switzerland because that's what he just fancies doing in his workshop. Over the winter, he's got all the bits to uh, the chassis and uh, engine and gearbox, etc. Was Bruce McLaren who famously built he started seven, his racing yeah. career in Austin Seven, absolutely, which I saw in the, in the Bruce McLaren Museum. It's now in McLaren's in uh, in Woking, but I saw it when it was down in uh, in New Zealand. Village has passed all these Austin Sevens now, so we know he's in contention. There's one lap to go at the end of this, and the lead is about to cross the line. So we're going to get a good look at the gaps um, for the final time before we see the chequered flag. So Tim Miles starts the last lap. He does a personal best, a 308. In second place now is Peter Marsh, who that time caught by 10 seconds, but now he's only nine behind. So we're going to have a good battle there between Tim Marl and Peter Marsh. In third is Thomas Emden. Fourth is Greg and Fruston. 